What's going on, Fast Turn Radio watchers, listeners, replay catchers, gompers? I know you're out there. I know you guys are catching the replays if you're not here live, and I appreciate that. I appreciate all of you so much for being here. Uh, so thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules. We are all super busy. And, and you know, I kind of thought after Q4, it would all calm down and, you know, we'd have like maybe, you know, a little busy January, but February, March, take it easy. And it's just not the case. I have been slammed to the wall for weeks and weeks and weeks now, and I'm sure all of you have. Uh, so thank you again for just taking time out from, um, from your busy schedule, your packing, shipping, sourcing, whatever it is that you're doing to give me a few minutes of your time. And uh, it means a lot to me that you guys are watching and listening and give me any feedback. Um, that's one thing I want to know is if there's anything uh, that, if there's anything about the, the show that you'd like to see differently, just let me know. <laughs> yeah, a few minutes, 60 minutes, whatever. Svetlana said a few minutes, question mark. Yeah, I, I know. It's a little more than a, a few minutes, but <laughs> yeah, Michael says you've been super, you know, talking to me, Dwayne has been super busy creating new bundle listings, right? You've been doing that, haven't you? No, Michael, I, I got the ideas. I know what the bundles are going to be. I just, dude, I got to sit down and get it done. But I had to pack and ship today. And that was part of uh, what I worked on because man, I'm about to read you some of my numbers. And when I look back at the week, I said, oh goodness. This is not good, but sales are up, which is weird. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing some packing and shipping. Teresa's doing some packing and shipping, but all right. So let's get, let's get into the, uh, the road to 500k since we're starting with that stuff. And we are going to talk about bundles a little bit in just a few minutes, but, um, uh, yeah, packing and shipping and the road to five, 500k, all that good stuff. So yeah, the ugly one shipment in the last seven days went out with 35 units in it between Teresa and myself. That's it. And that is totally my fault because she sent everything that I had shipped to her. It's that I didn't get any products to her. I got caught up with, uh, you know, kind of the, the whole conference thing and I didn't put in a lot of orders before I left, got back. I did put in some orders earlier in the week, uh, or late last week. I don't know. I'd have to go back and check my email. Anyway, it was last week. So that stuff's starting to come in now, which is good. And that's part of what she sent out. But then my credit card or debit card, you guys know, I don't do credit, but my debit card was stolen, <clears throat> not physically, just the number. And somebody tried to run it in Florida at a home Depot and whatever they did triggered the, uh, security to go, Hey, this isn't Dwayne. And this isn't, you know, this is his number, but this isn't him. Uh, shut it down. So after like four failed attempts, three at Home Depot and one at a car dealership, um, they decided to shut down my card. And I got a call. So I was trying to put in an order on Walmart. You know, that's how I found out. I'm sitting there trying to put the order through. <clears throat> they wouldn't take it. And I said, okay, I know what this is. It's fraud alert. So I called the company, you know, expecting them to just think that I was uh, buying too much stuff or it was a weird transaction. No, come to find out somebody did steal my card. They were trying to use it in Florida. And uh, so it got shut down. I'm still waiting on my new card. So right now I am kind of, uh, I, I've been able to do a little retail shopping. I've done a little bit of online, but I'm really just kind of waiting on my, my new card to come in before I go through the hassle of changing all my cards and all the online accounts and all that good stuff. So that was a minor setback. That is not the reason that we didn't get as much stuff shipped. I just didn't order enough stuff even prior to that. But that will affect kind of what we're able to do next week because those, those orders aren't going through right now. Um. <laughs> yeah, Dale. Dale said he bought $35,000 worth of plane tickets to China on his card while he was in Ohio. Try explaining that one to the call center. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Or no, plane, plane tickets, be, yeah, in, in China on your card. Yeah, that's, that's rough, man. So hopefully they didn't get, get your information, whatever. Um, so mine, they didn't get any money. You know, it was all protected. They didn't get any money. Uh, but they got my card. And that kind of stinks because now I got to reset. And yeah, Dave, Dave Ramsey Jr., 
Yeah. Um, no, they didn't. Okay. Yeah. So just so I, I'm saying they stole my card, they did not steal the card. It was not the, uh, the physical card. I still had the physical card. See, it's right here. It's, it's useless. So, yeah. Um, so I have the physical card. What I don't have is my, my new card and what they have is just the number and it didn't work. Okay. So Dale, uh, just to, to make sure I got this right. He was in Ohio. They were buying in China. Okay. So thankfully it was taken care of. It was visa, but it took them a while to believe me. Yeah. So, okay. So somebody in China was trying to use Dale's card while he was sitting in Ohio. Who knows how this stuff gets passed around, but, um, man, it, it, this stinks because it, now I got to go through all the accounts that had, uh, have, that I have like my monthly subscriptions taken out of and all that kind of stuff. So I got to put them into all those. And then I have like, I got to update Amazon. I got to update, I don't know, just all the, the, like I said, the online vendors, just all that junk. Um, let's see, does your card offer a one-time use? Bank of America offers that. Um, I don't know. I've never asked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it, it's, a, it's a little bit of a mess, but it happens. So that's life. The good thing is they caught it. I'm not sure, again, what triggered the uh, fraud alert, but obviously they, they have a good system in place, protected my butt, and no money was lost. Yeah, they were at a car dealership and not trying to buy a car. It was like a $200 purchase that they tried to do. So I don't know if they were trying to buy parts or get a repair done or what the deal was, but they were trying to put it on, put it on my shoulders, and luckily I didn't have to pay for that. But... Again, that is not the reason that the shipments did not go out. That there was one shipment, 35 units, pathetic. I will say that. I am well aware of that. And, uh, but that's, that's the truth. When I saw that, I went, wow, <laughs> what, what an awful, awful week for shipping. The good news is this week, between Teresa and myself, right now we have four open shipments with, I don't know, dozens and dozens and dozens of products. I didn't do a lot today. I did I spent a couple hours processing, um, but I needed to get just, just work. I needed to stay at home and work. And uh, so I processed about 55 items today. I probably got another 50 or so out in the garage that I got to get done. Teresa, I filled up her car. I did some, some RA. Thanks to T-Rex. I give him a big shout out. He gave me a call. I don't know what, maybe Monday. Yeah, I think it was Monday. He called me and said, Hey, you're talking about this road to 500 K and you're not on it. You know, you're, you're kind of slacking. So I'm going to get your, your button gear. So he gave me a little pep talk, told me about some deals that were going on at target. And I said, okay, it's time for me to get out of the house and get to target. And I did spend $1,200 at target. Now I, I, I had no problem shopping at target this week because I got the red card and it's the debit card, but that goes back, you know, straight out of my account. I didn't actually need my business card. And I do have a PayPal card, which I'm still not sure how the PayPal card works. Sometimes people take it, sometimes they don't. I don't know if it's okay not to have money in PayPal and have it debit out of my checking account, or if there has to be money in PayPal for the card to work. I don't have a stinking clue, but I have that as a, a little bit of a backup, I guess. But use the Target red card, no problem whatsoever. Spent $1,200 at one Target. I spent 300 bucks at a Walmart. That's when I used the PayPal card. And then the next day I went to our other target, spent 700. So a little over a couple thousand dollars in a couple of days. That was, that, that was money well spent, I believe, because of the deals and the, um, I don't know, they have some coupons and all that kind of stuff. So John was helping me, you know, here's some stuff to look for, but you can stack this and this and this. And yeah, it all came out. So I saved lots of money, uh, got lots of good stuff. And uh, let's see, oh, I was just reading uh, August's comment there about the frozen fever. No, I know nothing about frozen fever. So went to Target, spent 2,200 bucks in two days. I split that between Teresa and myself. In the meantime, she's receiving, I think somewhere around $1,500 worth of online orders that I had shipped to her. Some of the stuff that I had shipped to her previously is actually at the warehouse now. And I'm going to share a, uh, some of my numbers with you and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, let me get logged in. 
So I've been talking about a plan. You know, I've, I've had a plan all along, right? That I was going to do the wholesale and then come in with the retail and the online and all that good stuff on top of it. And that's exactly what I've done. So as soon as it comes up, we can get into some of that. And this would be a really bad time for Seller Central to go down. Or is it my computer? Oh, good. Might be my computer. Um, while I'm waiting on this to come up, it says new, new, ah, uh, yeah, okay. It was me. There, see, because all of a sudden all your comments came in and yeah, my screen refreshed. Okay, so my network was just hung up there for a second. So, all right, thanks guys. Holy cow. Yeah, I just got like all of a sudden 30 messages popped up. All right, sorry for that little snafu. Uh, yeah, hope they didn't shut down your store. I'll, I'll tell you what they did do. I have not gotten a disbursement in, let's see, two, two cycles, plus they tried to give me a disbursement today and it didn't go through. I am having all kinds of issues with my card. It, it's driving me nuts. And this was even prior to the, the thing being stolen. Um, I've tried like three different cards that we have. So it keeps on disbursement day. Thank goodness I have plenty of cash on hand because on disbursement day, I keep getting this notice that says uh, the attempt to access your account failed or something or to download your payment. And so I've got like you know, almost $10,000 sitting in pending disbursement that I can't get to go through. So that's just another little fun thing. So no, my account's not shut down, but I have had some issues with it. Uh, hey, Leron, what's happening, man? Okay, so now that it is actually up, um, all right, you know what? I think I'm gonna start with my home screen. If I accidentally show you guys something, so be it. Okay, hopefully you guys see my screen. So yeah, here we are, a little home screen. What I wanna point out is, uh, David, I don't know if you know, but you're on camera. There you go. <laughs> if you just click the little video camera at the bottom left, it'll turn you off. Unless you wanna come on camera, which you're welcome to do too. But that was David Payne. All right, right up here, this is what I wanna point out. So here's my pending disbursement that has just been collecting for about I don't know, eight, nine weeks now, something ridiculous. No, not eight weeks, four weeks. I guess it's been four or five weeks. Sorry. Um, yeah, 15 day or thir geez, 30 day, we're over 15,000, which is cool. Not great, but it's at least it's back up. It was down in the 12,000 range. Seven day, we're finally kicking it up. So, you know, we're up around that 4,000 mark. Yeah, I'm supposed to get paid twice a month. There's just been hiccups with, uh, there's been hiccups with my account where they try to, they, they're pinging my card that I have on file to make sure that it's active and somehow it's not pinging back right. So once that disbursement fails to go through, then you got to wait two weeks for it to go th to try to go through again. And the last two disbursements have just gotten hung up. So I'm not sure what the deal is. Hopefully, hopefully it'll get straightened out. One of these days I'll get some money. The truth is, if I if I actually get to the point where I need, um, <laughs> uh, if it gets to the point where I actually need the cash, then I'll call and and hound them a little bit. For now, we're still okay on the on the cash side. You know, it's not nice to have ten thousand dollars just sitting at Amazon, but at some point, it would be wonderful if they could give me that money. And uh, there's you know things that I could do with it, and that, that'd be all right. Anyway. So you see where we're at with the uh, the 30 day, not great, 15,000. 15 day, not great, just a little over eight, but seven days almost at 5,000. So if you project that out, that would put us on path for basically a 20,000 30 day, which is at least more, more um, on track. You know, I wanna, be, I wanna be at 30, but at this point I'll take a 20. So we'll get there. Uh, no one has guts to post real numbers. Yeah, you know, if nothing else, I think that separates me from most people because most people aren't going to just take you into their account and go, here's my crap. But here's my crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, John Grillo actually is more open than I am. In John's group, 
he will actually just take you to the store with him. And he's like, this is what I bought. I bought this, I bought this, I bought this. Now go buy that. And his group is freaking awesome. And uh, really, I made, I, I don't know. And, you know, obviously the profits aren't there because some of the stuff's still sitting in my garage. Some of it's at Teresa's uh, house. But, you know, that stuff is going to go on and be on its way in. And that one trip, I should profit somewhere around 1500 to $1,700. And, you know, is that worth it for John to go, this is what I'm buying, go buy this? Yeah, I, I think it's probably, you know, <laughs> worth being a part of his group to to get that kind of insight, knowledge, and kick in the butt. And if you ever want to feel like you're uh, accomplishing something in this world, just watch John for a day or two, and you'll realize how lazy you are. So there's that side of it. A lot of people don't know John has a group. It is a paid group. It's, it's, it's you know, again, <laughs> seems like everybody has a paid group now. So I'm not here to tell you to go join his group if you don't have the money, but if you have it, it's a great group to belong to. It's going to $100 a month next month. But again, he shows you, forget numbers. I put numbers on the screen. John's showing you what he's buying. He's like, here, go buy it and send it in and go make money. That's it. So, um, you know, it's, it's, I've never seen anything like it. It's actually, if you're in threads and treads and you've seen, seen some of my field reports and I need to get back to doing those, I've been out of the loop for a little bit on that. Um, uh, but that's where it came from. I basically just copied what John does and, and everything that he shows. And I'm like, dude, let's call it a field report. But that's, that's where I got it from. That was all because of John. It's awesome stuff. And that's what he does every day. There you go. Dino sourcing. Thank you for putting that up. It is Facebook dino sourcing. You can't actually find it because it's a secret group. So you just have to be invited. And uh, if John has room, you know, now's the time. If, if you want to maybe sign up some people, if not, you know, I guess, I don't know, work it out somehow. <laughs> I don't, you can contact me, but really you need to just PM John and say, Hey, I want in your group. And it, so it's called dino sourcing. You can't get in because it's a secret group. You won't find it. The only way is if John puts you in and uh, no, that's it. It's so it's, I'm telling you the full name is, Oh, what's his full name? His, his full name is John Grolo. There we go. So go, go PM, uh, go PM John and maybe he'll let you in. All right, so back to the numbers. Sorry for that little sidetrack. Uh, okay, so here's my numbers, and here's what's going on. All right, so that's where we're at today. And we're over 1,000 today. We're over 1,000 for yesterday. Excuse me. Um, and I was looking, I actually pulled some custom reports and we're over a thousand for the last three days. So we're finally getting back to that thousand dollar a day mark, which is where I want to be. Uh, Leron says, are these Easter sales? No, we are totally sold out of Easter. We ran out of Easter about a week ago. Yeah. After we get done, after I get done sharing the screen, I can go back and look. Um, and I can tell you exactly, um, when, when we sold out but I think it was about a week ago. And uh, so we are two weeks out from Easter. We sent in 44 bundles and they started selling about two a day almost immediately. And then one person came in and bought eight of them. And basically they wiped us out. You know, and the few that trickled in after that were just gone. So total, we, we uh, did about, excuse me, did... Uh, 44 bundles at $20 a piece. So that's $880. And that's part of our monthly. Okay. So that's not part of the daily. Yes. The grocery is all wholesale. So you see the grocery is, is kicked up quite a bit. There was one item that I looked at that we sold that was in grocery. So 17 of 18 is wholesale. There is one that is retail. And, uh, that's, that's the only sale today that was not wholesale. So in grocery, uh, these toys are all online flips and 
home appliances. I don't even know what the home appliances are. Kitchen is wholesale. Health and personal care, I'm not sure what those are. What you don't see up here is shoes. That surprised me a little bit. We've been on track to sell about one pair of shoes a day. So I was kind of excited about that. So let's go ahead and look at, let's see how we're doing month to date. All right. So month to date, we're at 13,800. That's, that's not too bad. Uh, we're coming up on the 25th. So we got about a week left. Not, I, I doubt seriously that we're going to hit 20,000, but you know, we'll be in that good 15, 17,000 maybe. I'm just guessing. Uh, if things stay the way that they're going, then yes, we would be up closer to 20,000. I don't think we'll continue to do a thousand dollars a day, but who knows? But one thing I wanted to look at, cause this kind of, this kind of surprised me. It was a nice little boost to, uh, to some of the sales. If we go into the shoes, I'm telling you, I'm loving the kids shoes. These are almost, that's almost exclusively what this is. There's a few adults, but I've been killing it with some kid shoes. Uh, so $1,000 of our total. You see 26 units in the last 25 days. So we're selling a pair a day, almost a $40 ASP. Um, pretty happy about that. And Denise said, just sold one kid shoe today, starting to like shoes better than clothing. How about you? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. I got to tell you, between the two, I am a bigger fan of shoes than I am of clothing. Clothing does well also, but I'm just finding it much easier to, to get the deals on shoes. And, you know, I've said it a few times that a lot of what I'm selling is summertime items. So as the weather gets warmer, it's starting to kick in. Um, Leron says, I'm doing well with closing, clothing flips, Amazon to Amazon. So that's cool. Good job. Uh, I know Svetlana is just making an absolute killing with both clothing and shoes. So, you know, don't pick one or the other. I'm just telling you that because of what I bought, it's if I bought more clothing, I would be selling more clothing. I haven't bought a lot. So, uh, yeah, that's I bought more shoes than I have clothing. So let's see. You want, okay, what are your year to date numbers? Year to date. Let's go with the custom. I like doing the custom year to date just because it shows a more accurate year over year representation. And this is just in shoes. So we've done 2,500 in shoes year to date. Let's see how that compares to clothing. We've done 3,100 in clothing. See, so, but here's the big difference. Clothing, 2,293. So basically $23 ASP. Shoes, you're looking at over 40 on the year. And if we go to all categories, um, so our year to date overall is 51,632.92. So we're a little over uh, 51,000 in, uh, in total sales. So not bad. Um, but we're off, we're off that double mark. See, we should be at, at 60,000 if we were going to double last year. So, you know, I got to kick it up. That's, that's all there is to it. But you'll see we have sold, our groceries have now outpaced our toys in units sold, but toys still outpace grocery in the total dollars sold. So however you want to look at that, uh, clothing has made the list as one of our top five on the year. It's a little over the 3,000 mark. So there you go. Um, yeah, and Svetlana said, right now, shoes are my best selling items thanks to TNT. Yes, Threads and Treads is pretty incredible. Later on, uh, I want to join TNT on April 1st. Yes, that is one week from tonight. So I will remind you guys, or I'll try to remind you next week. Um, but next David Diederich is the one that sends out the PMs, and usually they go out right at midnight. Um, they they go right at, they go out right at midnight. On, hang on, I got somebody's feedback. There we go. Uh, he usually sends them out at midnight on the the first, 
And so if you don't have something by like 8 a.m., then start asking, you know, PM me, PM David, Becky, one of us, and make sure that you get in the group, okay? And yes, it is a pay, but a lot of the deals are limited quantities. And we do that intentionally because we want you to be able to grab the, the close the loop essentially here. You know, there's 20 of these, go buy all 20. Now you have zero competition. That's kind of our intent. And that's not my idea. That's what Becky, David, and Lisa had the group set up initially. That's how they explained to me that they wanted it to run. And I thought it was a brilliant idea and it has worked out fantastic. Fantastically. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, but it's done. It's worked out very well. I think, um, yeah, Svetlana is, is one of our rock stars. Definitely. She said, I've made thousands of dollars worth every penny. So that's awesome to hear. I love hearing that. And, and you know, some people said it, I'm not making any money. So, you know, if you're not making any money because you're not in front of the, the computer and you're not finding the deals when they come up, because a lot of them do sell out very quickly. There are about 175 people in the group. That's a lot of eyeballs looking on these deals. So when there's 20 of something, there's 175 people, you may not get in on it. But if you were able to grab those deals, dude, they will make you money. Um, so how much is TNT a month? It is $100 a month. So not cheap, but it can be well worth your money. Uh, I've had, I've had a couple people tell me that with one deal, they've paid for a year of TNT. You know, Svetlana has put up amazing numbers. Uh, is there a rank cutoff on what gets sent out? Uh, oh, no, no, <laughs> no. I actually posted. Okay. Well, let, before I get too much into TNT, which I will get right back to anything you guys want to know about the numbers real quick. Anything I can share with you, anything you want to see, no, whatever about the numbers they're picking up, but not quite where I'd like to see them. All right. I'm not seeing. Oh, okay. Denise. Yes. How are you going to pick up, pick up from a 225 annual run rate? Um, 225. I am assuming we are in the third month. So four. So we're looking at a two. Yeah, about a 200,000. Uh, it's fourth quarter. Uh-oh. You guys, oh, man, my having, I'm having. All right. Um, yeah, sorry, my chat's just now coming back. Uh, I'm having connection issues. That's totally my fault. Yeah, so um, part of it was laying the foundation of getting my wholesale short up because I, I had let the wholesale go. And there were so many holes so many holes in our wholesale, it was ridiculous. I mean, there were products that I could have in no time that I, I know the manufacturers, it's easy to get. All I got to do is make the phone call and I didn't take time to do that. Well, that's, that's what I've done over the last few weeks is get those products ordered, get those sent in. So that makes my baseline. And right now out of our daily sales, we're looking at about, um, we're looking at 40, or excuse me, 400 to $500 a day just in wholesale. So that becomes our base. And now we have the online and the retail that's piling in on top of that. So we've got a nice steady base of 500. Prior to that this year, it was either the online and the retail, and then that, you know, making up our daily sales, or it was just the wholesale for about the last, you know, couple of weeks or so. Well, I, I shored that up. So all, I'm not explaining this well, but all year long, it's either been one or the other. Just in the last few days, have those two finally come together and you see the difference in the sales. We went from $500 days to $1,000 days. Now I need to keep that momentum going now that I've gotten the orders in and we've been able to process the products and get them all to Amazon. It's now my job to make sure that I am sourcing enough products online and, and retail to keep building on that momentum. So that's one way that we'll do it. We will not, if we stay on a $500 a day pace from now until September, no, we are not going to make it. You know, we're, we are not going to do whatever that comes out to a hundred thousand in sales in the first 10 months of the year. And then suddenly, uh, you know, in the last two months, 
bang out 400,000. No, Q4 is not that good. It can be, but I, I, I wouldn't have enough cash on hand to make that happen. So, um, okay. And Denise, thank you for explaining. I was just trying to do that off the top of my head real quick where you said 55 K 84 days annualizes to 240,000. Um, but we're actually at 51,000 either way you understand. So no, we are, we are not going to be able to keep the same pace. We've got to increase the pace. There's no doubt. So how are we going to do that? Wholesale, retail, online, looking for PL opportunities that are right for us. Uh, that hasn't happened yet, but we'll see. And uh, CL said, sorry, you said this already, but could you do a percentage of RA, OA, wholesale? Yeah, we're about 50% wholesale. And then RA, OA is it's a mix for the other percentages. I mean, I'd have to actually go in there and break down all that stuff, but I can tell you grocery is so 13,000 that, that is all wholesale kitchen is all wholesale. So that's 16,000 just from what sold this year. Um, toys. I don't know the percentages of, we do have quite a bit of wholesale toys, but it's not going to be, it's definitely not 17,000. I don't know what percentage the wholesale toys are. What would be my ideal mix? I don't have one. As long as I'm making money, I don't care what the mix is. I just, it just doesn't matter. Uh, I don't have a goal of it's got to be this much, this much. My goal is to make sure that my wholesale does not run out. And then if other things come in on top of that, that's awesome. But that is my number one goal is the replenishable inventory stays in stock that that is first and foremost it, because when i let that slip everything else tends to start to fall behind <laughs> and svetlana says 99 percent raoa and one percent wholesale see you can you can do a mix any way you choose to i mean it's it is totally up to you how you want to run your business I, if i could do 100 percent wholesale i would because i find it much easier to call companies and have them ship products to me rather than, you know, possibly have orders canceled or your account shut down. If you, uh, you know, there's been numerous people at Dale's on here. He had some issues with Kohl's. You know, I've heard that from, from several sellers. So, um, you know, there's just, there are, there are issues with online uh, quantity limits, things like that, that you don't have with wholesale wholesale you know, for the most part, unless it's a really popular product, they just go, here's your, here's your stuff. And yeah, wholesales, wholesale margins, they, a lot of times they are slim. I am fortunate in that my grocery wholesale is all bringing in at least a hundred percent ROI. Uh, I no, 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 no. I take that back. There is one that is at about a 50%. The rest of them are a hundred percent ROI. So it's out there. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Paula says, do you private label? No, I have not gotten into private label. I've looked at it a couple of times. I've kind of dipped my toe in the water with some different things, but no, no private label. All right. Uh, I am going to take this off. If you guys want, if there's something, sorry, I probably should have scratched my nose before I put myself back on screen. Uh, if there's something you want to know about the numbers, I can throw it back up there. Um, let's see. So yeah, some wholesale is very slim. Others not. I mean, you know, all my Easter stuff was all wholesale and it was all a hundred percent ROI or close to it. So it doesn't have to be slim, but you have to find the right products, which actually brings me to one of the things that I wanted to talk about. Oh, and somebody asked if kitchen was wholesale. Yes. Or, uh, right. Or a replan. Yes. Yeah. The kitchen stuff is a wholesale replan. So yeah, you can, you can find replans and you can find wholesale in every category out there. It's not easy and it, it takes some testing and it takes some effort, but it is out there. Um, all right. So <laughs> yeah. And Svetlana makes an excellent point. She says, unless you have thousands of dollars invested in insurance, or, yeah. Uh, do that before contemplating private label. Yeah. Remember, once you become the manufacturer of record, it's all on you. I mean, when you're, when you're the one importing that product, 
and you're putting it out to the public, you got no one to look back on and say, oh no, but you know, I bought it from Walmart, it's really their fault. Or I bought it from Target, they're the, the source. No, nah, man, your private label, you, that's your product, that's your problem if something goes wrong. You know, you put on there, it's BPA free, and somebody actually tests it and goes, hey, this has got BPA in it, and you get sued, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I mean, you can try to go back to your Chinese manufacturer or your US manufacturer and say, no, you told me it was BPA free, but it's gonna be on you. So you better have that insurance in place before you start doing that stuff. Um, all right, and there, was there another question? I thought there was one other thing. Maybe not, other than Dale can't buy a pair of underwear online at Kohl's because they just don't like Dale anymore. He made too much money with them and they saw that he does a better job of selling their products than they do. And apparently they didn't like that. So they said, Dale, you're not going to be able to just outdo us at our own business. We're going to have to shut you down, buddy. And so that's what they did, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, all right. What is your, what is your, what is you find a regular company that will PL for you? For example, I found a pet treat company that sells under their own brand, but will also PL. Um, yeah, I, man, I don't know. You know, you're, you're, you're going down a fine line and yes, they are still the manufacturer, but you're going to, that is your product. That's your brand. If somebody, if something goes wrong, if somebody eats those dog treats or whatever pet supply and they, their dog gets sick and dies and they conclude that it's because of you, you better have the insurance in place. I mean, they, they, they will, they will nail you. So yeah, Coles is shutting down resellers, corporate riot. Hey, Bob, what's going on, man? Uh, yeah, Bob says Coles is shutting down resellers, corporate wide. Be careful. Yeah. Coles does not like resellers. They make that very clear in their terms of service as do a few others. So that's why I'm saying it, it can be tricky going to some of these other sites. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and Dale, Dale was killing it. He, he's in the chat. You know, he's just talking about basically he was he was doing tens of thousands of dollars and having thousands of dollars in Kohl's cash, and he was killing it. Um, yeah, so, all right. One thing about wholesale that I'll touch on real quick and something that we've been able to do, it, and this almost goes into private label. There's kind of a gray area there. It's not private label, but I've created a bundle. This bundle is almost impossible to duplicate. Is it possible? Yes, but it would be so easy for me to order the bundle that you think you duplicated that is mine and show Amazon that it's not. I'd have you removed from the listing in a heartbeat, okay? But it's all wholesale products. It's stuff that I put together. It's, and it just, what happened was my, my wife needed something on Amazon and she went shopping for it. And it wasn't there. And she told me, she said, you know, I can't find this. I said, well, let's create it. You know, and that's, that is where private label bundling, I don't care how you get the products, that's where you fall to. Okay, that's a me too product. Same basic thing, except I've just changed out the, the labeling on it. That to me, just like Denise, what you're talking about with the pet products, they're saying we'll private label it for you. Um, you know, that's a me too product. You haven't really added any value to the marketplace. All you're doing is competing with the brand, national brand owner. Uh, you see it all the time, like these veggie slicers. You know, there are like 50 of them on the market now, it, you know, and they're all basically the same thing. They just have different names. That's a me too product. What I like is the idea of filling a void in the marketplace. You don't necessarily have to private label to do that. Yeah, barbecue gloves, perfect example. You know, there's a billion barbecue gloves all of a sudden. That's a me too product. I hate those. And, and I'm not saying you can't make money with them. I am sure there are people making a killing with them. I just don't like it. I'd rather see this doesn't exist. It needs to and bring that to the marketplace. So that's what we've been able to do. And we're not doing thousands of dollars a day, but we're slowly building up the sales, um, you know, doing one or two a day now, which is not huge, but it, as that product catches on 
and it's honestly not the right time of year for it. But as that product catches on, and as we get the search rank, because when you search for a product like ours, th there's nobody there. There's nobody in the space. So that search becomes ours. And now our product's been there longer than yours. Our product is going to be able to, to be priced higher than yours. So even if you try to come in and compete with us, we've kind of carved out that little niche. That's what I would love for you guys to be able to do with bundling. Um, you know, seasonal bundling is one thing, but this is long-term day after day after day, season after season, all year long. And it doesn't sound exciting, but if you can start to get one, two, maybe five sales a day of a product, and you can do that with 10 different products, that's repeatable, replenishable. Do it time and again kind of stuff. That's what I like. I don't care what your source is. I just I prefer wholesale because like I said I can just order in bulk when I need it. But regardless of the source, that's the that's the method. That's what I want you guys to start to grab onto is hey, there was this need in the marketplace. I took a little bit of this, I took a little bit of that. I filled that need and now when somebody needs this and this, it's right there for them. And you have done a service to to Amazon and to Amazon customers instead of just being a me too that clutters up the catalog as, as uh, somebody said, I'm sorry. I, uh, yeah. As, Oh, crit Critlin. That is an interesting name. Um, and she said it, it, I assume it's a woman. If it's not, I apologize. Um, but yeah, that clutters up the, the catalog and it just kind of makes a mess. And uh, Dale, has like this paragraph that I'm not even going to try to read. So good stuff though. Talking about PL and insurance and all that. Um, so that that's where I get excited about bundles. That should be a product that we can sell two to five a day, all day, every day, throughout the year, maybe a little lower off season. When it's on season, it'll be a little bit higher. That's cool. Um, so that's it for that stuff. Okay, threads and treads. Uh, what, what were the, okay, somebody asked if it's mostly Amazon to Amazon flips. Yes, it is. And there's a reason for that. It is very difficult. We want to make sure that when we're giving you information that is this product on Amazon, it's really, we want to make sure that when we, when we tell you this, this is the product, that it truly is. And there's no easier way to do that and no better way, forget easier, there's no better way to do that than to buy from Amazon. Okay, I'm gonna buy it from Amazon, I know the listing's there, I know the product's there, I know, I know it is that product that matches. Part of the problem is if you buy, like I, I've done deals from Macy's for clothing, and I've done deals from Sam's Club for clothing, okay, but, there's a chance that it is not the identical thing because you don't have the opportunity to scan the barcode. You don't have the chance to match it up exactly with what is, is in the catalog. Whereas when you buy from Amazon, you put it back on Amazon, it's apples to apples. You can think it's probably apples to apples, but man, there just sometimes there's not a hundred percent guarantee. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, if you're sourcing from other places and you're selling clothes, don't assume just because it looks like that, that it is the same thing. So that's why for the safety of our community, we have determined that it's best to, to stick to Amazon to Amazon flips. So that, you know, that's what we give to you. At the same time, we teach you how to source the clothing. So if you choose to go out to Kohl's, you can go do it. And if you want to add your own listings, we've got videos on how to, to add the listing now. That took us a while to get up, but it's finally there. Uh, or add the variation. You know, we'll give you that information so that you can do it yourself. We're just not going to give you the flips to say, go to Kohl's, go to Macy's, go to whatever your favorite clothing store online is and send it in. Because if we're wrong, that comes back on us. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, it's not that there's that we have anything against that. And we, we talked about showing people how to do it, 
but it just for the safety of our community and to make sure we were given the best information possible, we decided to stick to the Amazon to Amazon flips. And yeah, it's uh, flips for shoes and clothing both. Yeah, and Denise giving you guys as much a run, <laughs> as good a rundown as, as anyone can. She's been there from the beginning, I believe, like day one, she was on it, and even before it went paved. So yeah, she knows all about threads and treads. Svetlana has been there. So rather than take my word for it, go find some of the members that are there and ask them. You know, I, I'm, I have a biased opinion. I mean, I, I'll tell you, I love threads and treads. I think they're doing a great job. I could be missing something that they see that they go, no, nope, um, you know, Dwayne says this, but really it's like that. Maybe there's something in my blinders that I'm, I'm not seeing. So ask somebody who's a member of the group what they think about it. All right. Dwayne, can you refresh my memory on what not to do with Amazon to Amazon flips? About the only thing not to do is buy with Prime. So you just want to use a non-Prime account to make those pur purchases. And uh, yeah, <laughs> all right. Uh, you want to make, you want to use, you do not want to use Amazon Prime to make those purchases. Other than that, uh, make sure you get set up for tax exempt so that you're not paying taxes on your purchases because for us that's an extra um seven percent that we save in georgia yeah do not buy lightning deals you are allowed to buy what is, is it the gold box i don't know lightning deals okay yeah you can buy you can buy the gold box deals you cannot buy the lightning deals And yeah, we, we are starting to roll out information on wholesale for the, uh, we are starting to roll out information on how to wholesale and we even give you some wholesalers to contact. So we're, we're working on the wholesale side of things right now. It's just Amazon to Amazon flips that are the deals actually posted. The information is coming out as we get it together and, and we think it's in a presentable form that's uh, easy to follow and easy to take advantage of. You know, we're trying to make it simple. So, and Denise, thank you. She said some great educational videos and private Zoom casts. Yeah, and the Zooms are awesome. And then they're, I just sit there and let Becky be brilliant and she does that really well. So that works out. So not to be, meant to be a commercial for threads and treads or dino sourcing, but eh, those are the questions that came up. So sorry to, to go on so much about that. But um, All right, so Ellen asks, so if you have a non-prime account for business, can your spouse set up a prime account for personal or is that not allowed? Yeah, you can, you can have as many, um, you can have as many buying accounts as you want. So I have not seen anything that says, do not have more than one buying account. You know, that totally different than selling. Do not set up more than one selling account. But as for a buying account, yeah, you can set one up, have your husband set one up. Now, if you're doing that to get around a quantity limits, be careful. Okay, that's that's a whole different story. But if you just want your husband to have a non-prime account to do some buying or vice versa, yeah, no problem with that at all. You can set it up, uh, get the tax exempt on there, and you're good to go. Um when is the next TNT Zoom? We don't know yet. It has not been scheduled. We do about one a month, I think, is kind of what we're looking at right now. We try to do one about a, a, about a week or so after we open up to new people to let them kind of be familiar with everything so that hopefully they can bring the questions to the Zoom and we can get them all, question, uh, all the questions answered there. So, um, <clears throat> you know, we don't have a, a set schedule. We, we do think we're going to try one in the afternoon to see if we can get as many people as possible. So we'll just see how that works out. Uh, Daniel, I can't help you with the Amazon credit cards. I have no idea, man. Yeah, um, Amazon is putting quantity limits on items, definitely. No, I have not gone to any trade shows lately. I tried to go to ASD. It did not work out so well. Yeah. Am I going to be on the Scanner Monkey cruise in January? I don't know. I, I do know if I go, it's going to be, be going to be me by myself. I talked to my wife and she is not going to be able to get out of school. 
she works at um <laughs> she works at a school she's a speech therapist so she is on the school's schedule and she gets like three personal days a year and when the cruise is is right after they go back after the christmas break so that is not going to happen so they're not going i don't know if i'm going or not yet uh, the next thing I'll be attending is the Baltimore tra or the Baltimore conference that's coming up in just a couple of weeks. Angie will be there with me on that one. So the two of us will be in Baltimore for the weekend. Uh, Lori, Halloween. Yes, thank you. Halloween. Just to let you guys know, Lori uh, posted that she contacted one or got in touch with one of her wholesalers and they told her that she needed her Halloween orders in by the end of March. Okay, so if you're thinking about doing Halloween and you have a clue as to what you want, you better get those orders in because they're shutting down already. And I got shut down on some of the stuff that I wanted for Easter by waiting until March to try to order it, early March. Um, you know, she's, she's saying that if you don't have it in by March for Halloween, you're going to get shut out. So just kind of keep that in mind. Our Costumes under the clothing category, from what I've been told, how it's supposed to work is adult, cloth adult costumes are under clothing, accessories, and children's costumes are under toys. Is that the case? Not at all. You will see costumes and clothing, you'll see costumes and toys, you'll see kids in clothing, you'll see adults in toys. It, it's a mess and people will switch them back and forth. And of course, because there are a few sellers in, in clothing, people like to put stuff in clothing that maybe shouldn't be there, like the kids' costumes. So you'll see them in both. You know, I would be very hesitant, honestly, to sell kids' costumes if you are not approved in clothing. My connection tonight. <laughs> yeah, people have created costumes in every category Amazon has. Yeah, it's all 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 over the place. Yeah. And hopefully Daniel, somebody can help you with your credit card question, man. I, I would, if I could, I just can't, I have no idea. Um, all right. Just looking back, make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah. You guys still see and hear me. Yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah. All right. So last thing that I wanted to touch on actually last, yeah, there's, we got time for a couple of things. Keepa. Anybody notice that Keepa went down for a little bit? Anyone else have like this little minor heart attack? Like, hey, did Amazon just uh, like kick Keepa out because they're giving away too much information now? <laughs> you know, I kind of freaked. And that was not good times. And just in case you have not noticed, um, Keepa is back up now, but they lost two weeks of data. So if you look at Keepa, Everything is a straight line. So wherever the last tick was on March 7th, is that's it. That's all you're going to see for the, for the last two-week period. No rank information, which, you know, they just had rank up, uh, an update that started showing rank. Rank information is not going to be there. Um, the Amazon in or out of stock is not going to be there. Sale price is not going to be there. I mean, it's just, yeah. Um, you got nothing. <laughs> keep us. <laughs> Svetlana says Keepa is 101 Amazon. Yeah, it's for the beginners. I don't mind being one of those people. I use Keepa when I'm trying to figure out how long they've been out of stock, how often they go out of stock. I love Keepa for the in and out of stock. Now that they have the rank overlaid with the um, with with the pricing, it is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> John St Stevenson says, I blame Chris Green. Everything's Chris's fault. It's all, it's all Chris's fault. Um, so yeah, it is back up, but we've lost two weeks of data. And that's going to be an issue for a little while. It's going to probably play into, you know, kind of the average cost. I don't know. You're, you're just not going to have the information there. You just, you've lost a couple of weeks. Um, that's all there is to it. Don't know what to tell you on that. So, you know, you're kind of your three-month view, there's always going to be this, this spot where you have no idea what was going on. So, kind of stinks. Yeah, they did crash and burn. Uh, apparently, they had a corrupt file that 
got uploaded to all their servers and it just it tore up their whole system. So they yeah, they crashed and burned. That's that's an excellent way to put it. And lastly is graduation season. I need to do the the uh, coaching graduation stuff. So that's going to be coming up soon. We are in March, right around the corner is April and May is when graduation starts. So guys, just wanted to throw that out there. Suggestions for graduation only for my coaching clients. Uh, yes. And wholesale coaching. Let's, who wants to do wholesale coaching tomorrow? If you're in, <laughs> all right. If you guys are, if you guys are in the, <laughs> if you guys are in the coaching group, I can do wholesale coaching tomorrow. Um, well, I'm really going to schedule that late, man. I hate to do that. I can't do that to people. I can't let them know a day ahead. We'll schedule it for next week. Um, okay. I will schedule, I will schedule that for next week. Oh, JL Highlands here. Hey Joe. Yeah. I met her last week. Um, yeah. Michael Flanagan says, teach me, get out of here, man. Um, will it be in the evening? I guess we'll have to talk about that. All right. I'll put a post in the coaching group. We can figure out a time. There will not be a time that works for everybody, but we can at least get a general consensus. I prefer to do things in the afternoon, but that's because this is my job and it's really easy for me to, to do things when the kids aren't here and, and Angie's at work and all that good stuff. But, uh, <laughs> how do we get notified? I, I'll put a, I'll put a post in the coaching group. Well, I got to get this stuff nailed down. Cause yeah, we need to do a brainstorming session. Can I put up a link to the coaching? Um, sure. That is Dwayne Malik dot or, Yeah. Dwayne Malik coaching.com slash fast turn. But I'll type that in real quick. At least I think I will. Oh my goodness, it's going down again. Are you kidding me? Yep. I am froze as could be on the chat. Well, as soon as it comes back, but it's just DwayneMallettCoaching.com forward slash fast turn. That is the link to sign up. Uh, it's 297. Being here talking. There we go. Holy mackerel. I'm back. Crazy, crazy connection night. All right. So thank you. Michael Flanagan got the, the link up there for you guys. Um, yeah. All prior videos, Zoom casts will be available. There may be a couple of spree casts from way back that are not available. But yes, the most recent stuff definitely is. <laughs> and, and see, you guys saw me the whole time. And, uh, oh, Daniel, that's very kind, sir. He said, lifetime fee, people. Best money I've ever spent. That's, that's awesome. So thank you. Darcy says, totally worth it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, very kind to you guys. That's, that's what I shoot for. And um, that's, that's pretty cool. Thank you. Um, but yeah, we'll do graduation. Let's do graduation Friday. All right, let's plan on that. I won't try to squeeze something in for tomorrow. Let's do, um, let's do Friday. We'll talk graduation brainstorming and we'll probably have to do that in the afternoon. Lori, I know you'll hate me for that. Can my kids graduate Friday too? Sure. Uh, <laughs> oh man. All right. I got to find out who you are, Critlin. I hope Dunkin Donuts spree is still there. My favorite. That is hilarious. You remember the Dunkin Donuts spree. That was like one of the first. Oh, Kristen Martin. Okay. Hey, Kristen, I know you. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was stinking hilarious. I don't know if that one's still around or not. I don't believe it is. Uh, that, that was when Spreecast was free and then they went paid and they deleted all the old stuff. So I don't think that one's still around, but uh, it, it might be. Maybe I, I, I don't think so though, but that's hilarious that you remember. That was fun. All right. John Steven, Stevenson says, love the afternoons because it's evening here in the UK. All right. All right. I think we'll do a, probably a Friday afternoon, like a one o'clock in the afternoon is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Lori said, holy crap, someone just bought six boxes of chocolate. Awesome. Great job, Lori. Or, uh, yeah, Lori. 
sorry, I saw Svetlana's little picture as soon as I started to say Lori. My brain got confused. All right. We're at the nine o'clock hour. Hopefully you guys got some tips. You see where my plan is at least starting to come together, where the wholesale's in place, the online and retail that we're sending in is stacking on top of the wholesale. Hopefully we can bump this stinking $500 day up to $1,000 a day, where, which is where we need to be and what I am trying to get us to. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll schedule some graduation brainstorming for Friday and we will do wholesale probably early next week, either Monday or Tuesday. I will put up a post. We'll talk about that. But those are a couple of things coming up very soon in the coaching group and get you guys out there making some money. And you know what? It helps me too, because those ideas that I shared in the last brainstorming are exactly what I did for Easter this year. It added $880 to revenue and right around $200 in profit. Not huge profits this year, but darn sure know what I'm doing for next year. So it was more of a testing this year. Going to apply that next year. We'll talk about some of the uh, graduation that I did last year that I will apply to this year. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I uh, hope everyone has a great night. And um, we'll see you next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Night, guys. <laughs>